Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm AJ and I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I want to share with you what I packed in my hospital bag. Uh, I actually did not plan on making this video until recently, so I don't. Re I really have to think about what I packed, what I wish I packed and what I didn't pack. Uh, so because it was so confusing, I made a little a checklist. I have it right here. I'm gonna make it available for you completely for free so you can just uh, click on the link below and you can get it as well. And this was basically what I packed for myself, for my baby and for my husband. So let's get started. checklist is very specific for Austria. Uh, I would always advise you to check with the hospital or wherever you're giving birth uh, what is needed because in Austria for example or at least in Vienna where I had my baby they specifically told us like don't bring anything to the baby just an outfit for the baby to go home. While the baby's in the hospital you don't need anything we got you covered and this is a public hospital. First thing I would add is my birth plan. In Austria, no one really asked me to make one. I still had one. I had it in my pregnancy folder. This folder was always with me. Every time I would have an appointment or you know the gestational diabetes appointments that I had to, to go to. And you also have the, uh, the Mutterkind Pass. And um, I have a very simple um, birth plan. I might actually make a video about it because my birth plan somehow manifested itself and it happened exactly like I wanted to. So definitely think about what you want for your birth plan and then share it with your partner. Uh, so in case there's like, you know, a decision that has to be made, you probably will not be in the mood to like consider the pros and cons. So if your partner knows uh, exactly what you want out of this experience for yourself, he might be able to help you with, with that. So the second thing I have on my list is the hypnobirthing folder, which in my case was all combined in the same folder. Uh, it can be whatever you want. Uh, it can be just meditations. It can be a picture of a place that, you know, just makes you feel calm. Um, it can be a little USB pen uh, with some, you know, soothing music. It can be anything you want. Um, I might actually make a video about how hypnobirthing helped me so much <laughs> before, during and after labor. So if you're doing hypnobirthing as well, which I highly recommend, you will probably need a, your little folder. I mean, it's nothing big, but I would definitely recommend having all of these tools with you. Snacks and water bottle, definitely water bottle um, and tell your partner, offer me water because you will forget to drink water. So just, you know, let him know or let her know, whatever, that you're expecting them to, f to give you water. Uh, and snacks, hospital food, you know, it is what it is. So it's always nice to have some snacks. Not gonna lie, I had a huge bag of M&Ms because, you know, I was really, I really wanted to eat M&M's during my pregnancy and I couldn't, so um, the first few pictures of my baby girl in the hospital is like with a massive M&M's <laughs> bag next to me. Uh, dressing gown, I mean guys, just anything comfortable really, you choose whatever you think it's best of course. I think anything nice and flowy <laughs> makes it a lot easier to go to the restroom afterwards, to sit down, you know, just anything comfortable. So I, the hospital actually gave me a dressing gown, but I just wanted to have my own just to make it feel, just to feel a little bit more comfortable and I would definitely do it again. Slippers, pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you know, you wanna make sure that, I actually had slippers, I can actually show you. These are my slippers. <laughs> and I also had one pair of like fuzzy socks because I really just wanted to be you know, nice and cozy with my baby. Uh, and then I didn't realize how warm the maternity wards are because they have like this, you know, to keep the babies warm basically. So I did not use the fuzzy socks, but I had it in my bag. Lip balm. 
I mean, I always have lip balm with me because my lips, they get very dry. But yeah, lip balm. I actually have, uh, <laughs> while I was in the pool, in active labor at some point, the midwife say, do you want to put some lip balm? Like your lips, they look very dry. And I actually told my husband, the two things that he had to watch out for was lip balm and water. And then my husband was like, yes, I know where that is. I'm going to get it. And everyone was like, even I, I, really in plain labor, we were all laughing. It was really funny. Uh, phone charger. I did not have my camera with me, but you know, anything electronic that you need. So definitely the phone charger. Uh, I did add nipple cream and anything nipple related, get it. <laughs> uh, if you want to breastfeed, of course, if you don't, all good. But if you're trying to breastfeed, and this is a friend of mine and she gave me this little tip, is, you know, as soon as you're done breastfeeding, apply the cream straight away. I mean, now, of course, I don't do that, but like during those first three, four, five days, as soon as I was done breastfeeding, I would rather put the patch or the cream just because it's so new and I think it really helped. So I would definitely recommend that. Change of clothes. I mean, in Austria, again, you stay by default three days. You can stay for a shorter period of time, but then you need to have a midwife checking you at home. I did, did not want to have that option. I mean, for me, it was like, okay, this is my first baby. I want to be in the hospital. And I'm so happy I did because, you know, it almost felt like a little spa retreat at some point. No, not really. But, you know, everyone was like checking on me. I was like, oh, this feels nice. <laughs> but you can actually stay up to five days. So if you have a C-section. So, you know, in that case, you just want to, you know, maybe have another... Um, what's the word, dressing gown or nightgown, just so you're a bit more comfortable. Uh, I did put face wipes. Uh, I was not really putting on makeup. Uh, at some point I did, to be honest, just because everyone was like, are you okay? Like on my messages, you look so pale. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> so I did have face wipes with me. I also wrote official documents. These official documents is because in in the hospital where I gave birth, they actually had something that's called the baby point. So I could go in there uh, with my husband and just give give them all the documents and we check beforehand which documents they would need. So we got all the paperwork, like all the birth certificate, the international, uh, the Austrian version, everything there. So that was really, really helpful because you don't want to be dealing with that postpartum. Like, so it was done. Um, Diapers for mama, yeah, <laughs> I don't know really what else can I say about this. You're given, of course, underwear by the hospital. I just found it extremely uncomfortable. Um, and I just felt like the, the diapers for adults just made everything, you know, nice and tight and more comfortable. Um, toiletries for the shower, yes, uh, you will want to have a shower. I hope you can have a shower whenever you want to. I couldn't because I couldn't stand because I would faint basically. Uh, hair ties, um, yeah, I had a bunch of them because I keep losing them and guess what? I lost them in the hospital as well. So definitely think about like a hair tie if you wanna tie your hair. Uh, I did write maternity bra as well, just because I think, you know, when your milk comes, your boobs get very heavy, so it felt nice to have some extra lift and support. So that was pretty much it for myself. So, I mean, I, I had a very small bag and everything fitted, no issue whatsoever. That was it for myself. As you can see, it was not a lot, but honestly, it was everything that I needed. Because you're just laying there for a few days, just cuddling, just bonding. You don't really need a lot. For my baby, um, again, the hospital really told us you don't need to bring clothing for the baby. You don't need nappies, you don't need wipes. I did put some nappies and some wipes just in case, I don't know, you, I wanted to be safe. So just in case there was a shortage for some reason, I did pack some nappies and some wipes for my baby. I also had a pacifier that we never actually used it. Uh, we tried after uh, the baby came out of the hospital to give her the pacifier. She never really wanted it. 
she's nine months now, she still doesn't take the pacifier. Uh, which is fine with us, doesn't matter anyways. And then we also have those little hats, um, very cute. <laughs> and of course we have the outfit that um, she should come home with. To be honest guys, we actually ended up bringing the hospital clothes back home just because the outfit that I packed was way too big. I have no idea how tiny babies could be, so the one that I packed was way too big, so in the end we had to bring the baby home with the hospital clothes and I still have it I could have returned it but I kept it okay for my partner also not a lot honestly he had like a very simple small bag again like we lived fairly close at the time to the hospital um, but so he had a copy of the birth plan and I actually gave him some things that he should say to me to motivate me because my husband simply cannot formulate some sentences <laughs> sometimes so I was like okay you can tell me it's one less contraction you can tell me she's coming she's almost there so she's almost here um, he had a book and a magazine um, the book I actually gave him that book as a thank you for being such a nice partner during this adventure uh, he had a change of clothes of course he also had ease toiletries for the shower phone charger uh, cash and camera. So I put camera here because I wish I actually had the camera. I think I would have taken much better pictures than the ones with the phone. Uh, but we actually did not pack the camera. And I put cash. Cash is very important because you might need cash um, if you need something from the cafeteria from the hospital, if you need to go across the street to get something, if you need to go to the pharmacy, if you need, for example, to pay for the parking, cash is definitely better than, um, than just having the credit card, for example. So yeah, this was what we had with us when we went to the hospital. Again, you really don't need a lot. Um, I watched so many YouTube videos at the time and I always felt like, wow, do you really need all of that? Um, again, in Austria it's very specific because you don't need a lot for the baby. But when it comes to you and your partner, you really don't need a lot. Trust me when I say that you will be in a bubble. You will not be, you know, thinking about what to wear, what to put on. You just want to be with your baby, just cuddling. It's completely normal if you want to, like, you know, take some better pictures or you look a little bit better. I definitely did that as well. But don't overthink it. Just, you know, pack what you want. Um, keep it simple because you will not really be using a lot of things that you will probably pack anyways. So have uh, an amazing delivery and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, and subscribe and like and leave a comment. I always forget to say these things. Yeah, This is how you know that I'm not a YouTuber.